Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope for August 28th, the Feast of St. Augustine, Bishop and Doctor of the Church, son of St. Monica, famous for authoring his confessions, his spiritual autobiography, famous for the contributions he made to Western Christianity for a thousand years. For this feast, the Church gives us the first reading from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians. And the message that comes to us is the mystery, the power of the cross. Paul starts out right away saying, Brothers and sisters, Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel. And not with the wisdom of human eloquence, so that the cross of Christ might not be emptied of its meaning. Wow, right in the beginning there, it packs such a message to us. First of all, I wasn't sent just to do a lot of liturgical things. I was sent to preach the gospel, more important than all the other things that we do. And in that gospel, to not do so so eloquently that I lose sight of the cross. The message today is so important about the cross of Jesus Christ and the salvation that came from that cross. We all carry crosses, don't we? We talk about that all the time. And actually, now we're carrying a common cross in this pandemic. Some of us are carrying it more painfully than others. Those who are underprivileged are suffering terribly from the cross, but even we, the privileged, are suffering from having to carry this cross. There's something salvific about the cross of Jesus Christ. And if there is something salvific about the cross of Jesus Christ, can we not say that there is something salvific in all crosses? And that it is up to us to not just bear the weight of our crosses, to not just bear the burden of our crosses, but to seek the salvific, even in our own crosses. That might be the word of hope that I offer us today, to seek the salvific in our very crosses. God bless you.